Zedekiah was 21 years old when he became king, and he reigned 11 years in Jerusalem. His mother's name was Himutal, the daughter of Jeremiah of Libna. He also did evil in the sight of the Lord, according to all that Jehoiakim had done. For because of the anger of the Lord, this happened in Jerusalem and Judah, till he finally cast them out from his presence. Then Zedekiah rebelled against the king of Babylon. Now it came to pass in the ninth year of his reign, in the tenth month, on the tenth day of the month, that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, and all his army came against Jerusalem and encamped against it, and they built a siege wall against it all around. So the city was besieged until the eleventh year of King Zedekiah. By the fourth month, on the ninth day of the month, the famine had become so severe in the city that there was no food for the people of the land. Then the city wall was broken through, and all the men of war fled and went out of the city at night by way of the gate between the two walls, which was by the king's garden, even though the Chaldeans were near the city all around. And they went by way of the plain. But the army of the Chaldeans pursued the king, and they overtook Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho. All his army were scattered from him, so they took the king and brought him up to the king of Babylon at Riblah, in the land of Hamath, and he pronounced judgment on him. Then the king of Babylon killed the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes, and he killed all the princes of Judah in Riblah. He also put out the eyes of Zedekiah, and the king of Babylon bound him in bronze fetters, took him to Babylon, and put him in prison till the day of his death. Now in the fifth month, on the tenth day of the month, which was the nineteenth year of King Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, the captain of the guard who served the king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem. He burned the house of the Lord and the king's house, all the houses of Jerusalem, that is, all the houses of the great, he burned with fire. And all the army of the Chaldeans, who were with the captain of the guard, broke down all the walls of Jerusalem all around. Then Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, carried away captive some of the poor people, the rest of the people who remained in the city, the defectors who were deserted to the king of Babylon, and the rest of the craftsmen. But Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, left some of the poor of the land as vine dressers and farmers. The bronze pillars that were in the house of the Lord, and the carts and the bronze sea that were in the house of the Lord, the Chaldeans broke in pieces and carried all their bronze to Babylon. They also took away the pots, the shovels, the trimmers, the bowls, the spoons, and all the bronze utensils with which the priests ministered. The basins, the firepans, the bowls, the pots, the lampstands, the spoons and the cups, whatever was solid gold and whatever was solid silver, the captain of the guard took away. The two pillars, one sea, the twelve bronze bulls which were under it, and the carts which King Solomon had made for the house of the Lord, the bronze of all these articles was beyond measure. Now concerning the pillars, the height of one pillar was 18 cubits. A measuring line of 12 cubits could measure its circumference, and its thickness was four fingers. It was hollow. A capital of bronze was on it, and the height of one capital was five cubits, with a network and pomegranates all around the capital, all of bronze. The second pillar with pomegranates was the same. There were 96 pomegranates on the sides. All the pomegranates, all around on the network, were 100. The captain of the guard took Seraiah, the chief priest, Zephaniah, the second priest, and the three doorkeepers. He also took out of the city an officer who had charge of the men of war, seven men of the king's close associates who were found in the city, 
the principal scribe of the army who mustered the people of the land, and sixty men of the people of the land who were found in the midst of the city. And Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, took these and brought them to the king of Babylon at Riblah. Then the king of Babylon struck them and put them to death at Riblah in the land of Hamath. Thus Judah was carried away captive from its own land. These are the people whom Nebuchadnezzar carried away captive. In the seventh year, 3,023 Jews. In the eighteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar, he carried away captive from Jerusalem 832 persons. In the twenty-third year of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, carried away captive of the Jews 745 persons. All the persons were 4,600. Now it came to pass in the 37th year of the captivity of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, in the 12th month, on the 25th day of the month, that evil Merodach, king of Babylon, in the first year of his reign, lifted up the head of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, and brought him out of prison. And he spoke kindly to him and gave him a more prominent seat than those of the kings who were with him in Babylon. So Jehoiakim changed from his prison garments, and he ate bread regularly before the king all the days of his life. And as for his provisions, there was a regular ration given him by the king of Babylon, a portion for each day until the day of his death, all the days of his life.